Elvis really made me mad a couple of times, but mostly he made me laugh. But there was always the music. And when I think of him, and I think of him every day, the thing I remember most about him was his humanity. I'd like to tell y'all now a very moving story, one that still touches me today, almost like the one with my uncle and with Elvis, the first time I saw him like that. <clears throat> there was an appeal story written in the commercial appeal there, morning paper in Memphis. And it was an article regarding this little woman that had no legs from the hips down. She was born that way. She had had children, raised them. She would even raise, they had in the story, she had raised some of her grandchildren. And this appeal story was that she, how she got around on some wood that was nailed together and underneath they had these roller skates nailed to it. And they had these special handles with some like a leather thing. And she'd pull herself along like skiers do on snow skis and everything. And so Marty read it, Marty Lacker. And he brought it up to the house, and I was sitting there with Elvis at the dining room table. And Marty said, Elvis, when you get a chance, I think you might want to read this. And I said, okay. He finished eating, and he picked over the paper, and he looked at it. He looked up after he read it, he said, find out where she lives. So Marty did call the paper. Elvis went and bought the most expensive electric wheelchair made. And he and Priscilla, Marty, Alan, Richard, and I think Billy and myself went out there. And it was in the trunk of the car. We took it up to the house. Her husband, who was retired from the railroad, let us in. And he uh, called her out. She came out. We heard her come around that corner. The house was spotless, boards bleached white, carpet, I mean, the uh, linoleum in the kitchen just shiny. And comes out, and <laughs> we heard her. She comes around that corner face to face with that wheelchair. Oh, my. Oh, my. And tears started to come into her eyes. She knew what it was. And tears came to our eyes. She asked if she could sit in it. We lifted her up, Elvis on the one side and I on the other, put her there, and she's checking it out. And Elvis said, ma'am, now, I don't know how to tell you how to operate this thing, but he said, uh, they demonstrated over there. And this year, you can just go wherever you want to and get there fast and everything. So he said, we just want you to have it. She starts crying, we start crying, and soon we're out of there. We have to. We have to get out of there. We walked outside and Alan said, Elvis, I don't think she knew who you were. He said, it doesn't matter. She knows someone cares. <laughs>